All right, so what we're gonna do here is update the MPC. I just got this not too long ago and I've been loving it, but I do wanna update it to the 2.9. So the first thing you wanna do is go to akaipro.com and go into your account. Uh, you'll have to make an account if you don't have one. Once you go here, you go to my products and you wanna hit register new product and it's gonna ask you for the 21 code. Now the 21 code is on the bottom of your MPC right down here. So just look right down there and type in your code. This light will not turn on until you have the correct amount of digits in here. As soon as you have it, it'll let you. And then you put check serial and it'll take you back to your products. Once you register it, you go into your products and it shows you everything. This is all my stuff. I'm not gonna use the software, so knock yourself out. I just want the firmware. Uh, meaning, first, there's all kinds of stuff you wanna download on here. You, you need to download all this stuff. And just this one folder, this folder, all this stuff here, the essentials, knock yourself out. Take all that and do that. I don't want any of this stuff. The only thing I want in my MPC Live is gonna be the MPC 2.9 firmware update. And what this is, is gonna update just the firmware. So in standalone, I have the newest version of it, which includes the new drum synth, which I'm gonna do that right now. So I click on this and I have Windows. So you wanna make sure you click Windows for Windows, Mac for Mac. You can do a USB. Me personally, I'm just gonna click on the Windows. As soon as you click that, it's gonna bring a folder down here at the bottom. As soon as this gets done turning, which doesn't take long at all, and I don't have editing software, so I'm trying to do this on the fly with you guys. And so we got this here. Now we're gonna open it. It's opening. And now you're stuck with this box. So good. We're done with the computer side for right now. Now we're gonna take your MPC turn it on and this is where the only time that I'm gonna take the blue cable and plug it into my MPC and the only reason I show this because when I updated my MPC X it took a minute for me to um, to figure it out you know how to I, there was no manual or anything that I found that would let me that would show me this, how to update it. So it's important, so I'm sharing with you guys. So I got it in standalone mode, and I'm gonna hit empty project. And what you wanna do is hit menu, and then up here at the top, there's a gear icon. You tap this gear icon. Right now, I'm running 2.7.1. We want that to say 2.9.1. So what we're gonna do and right here, it says reset and legal info. This is the screen we wanna be on right here. So I'm gonna run you back. We turned on our MPC. We hit empty project. We hit menu. We hit this gear icon at the top. Now what we're gonna do is hold down this shift button right here. You have to hold this down. If you press it, it's just gonna, and you can see the screen jumping. So you have to hold it down for it to say update. So I'm holding shift and you hit update. Are you sure? Yes. Update. You can let go of shift. It's going to shut down now and it's going to restart in update mode. And like I said, I want to do this with you guys. Um, I did it on the MPC X and I'm loving the, the new plugin. So I just want to run the new firmware. I've noticed that it's a little buggy with the 2.7. So I'm thinking the the new update will work. So what we gotta do now, it's in update mode. And on the computer, it says updates, the same screen. So now we're gonna go back to the computer. And grab your mouse here and hit update MPC. Click it. Please connect power supply and retry. I don't have a power supply connected to my MPC. Give me one second.
you know, that's really good to know that you can't do it on battery. Because I've actually tried saving some pretty big files um, on the MPC battery. And I'll get about three quarters of the way through and it'll die. But if once I have it plugged in, everything's legit. Like a, I run into some bugs on the live that I do not have on the X. So I'm going to hit update now that I got it plugged in. <coughs> Doesn't take very long at all. Then, like I said, I just want to do the firmware update. There's also in the back, you can see up here, download software and all that. I'm not using software. I, I like to use this in standalone. And if you look at the NPC screen, it's not doing anything. But as soon as this reaches 100 on your computer, just hoping everything runs smooth here. Was done the MPC screen turned off and reset I'm gonna click done on the computer screen and we'll see what the MPC does it's my first time updating to the 2.9 on the MPC so I'm just letting it do its thing it restarted and let's hit empty project same thing we did in the beginning. Menu, gear icon, and this should say 2.9.1. 2.9.1. And what that does is when you hit main and you go to your plug, it gives you the drum synth which when you hit menu and program edit allows you to see your new toy which is dope let's see what it sounds like these are the speakers on here let's back that up just a little bit big shout out to my wife for helping me be in the camera and uh leave her a little love in the comments here let's get some video going and what's dope is now i can control all the parameters with the Q-Links. Tune it. There it is. Right on guys, I'm Paulie Popo and I just want to share as I go. And that's all we're going to do for today. I'm going to shut this off and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.